Welcome. Now we shall enter into a, a completely new topics, which is fluidics and fluid logic. And in this lecture, lecture twenty six, we shall discuss about the fluid logic. This will be very introductory lecture on fluid logic. Now, you know that fluid uh, in case of automation there are valves which are called fluidics valve which are used for just on off operations in um, say automation. Now, First of all, if you look into the very fundamentals of fluidics, what it is, then uh, the what fluidics, uh, also known as fluid logic, is the use of fluid or compressible medium to perform analog or digital operations similar to those performed with electronics. Uh, this it might be fluid, incompressible fluid or compressible medium that means, compressible fluid. The physical basis of fluidics is pneumatics and hydraulics both are used based on the theoretical foundation of fluid dynamics. The term fluidics is normally used when the devices have no moving parts. In such valves which, which is known as fluidics valve, you will find that there is no moving parts. This does not mean that fluid is not flowing, fluid is flowing, but no say spool or other things are not there. Okay. Therefore, ordinary fluid power components such as hydraulic cylinders, spool valves, are not referred as fluidic devices. Now, um, in 1960s the application of fluidics to sophisticated control system with the introduction of the fluidic amplifier. The first invention or you can say discovery uh, in the uh, which, which could be named as fluidics device was the fluidic and amplifier and that is in 1960s. I must say that time just after the world war war there was uh, the researchers were very much interested to explore the fluid power because they found the lot of applications was there in the machineries. So, that um, um, there was may be everywhere it was going on wherever the engineering was there the research application engineering of fluid power. But at the time the electronic devices were not that much developed it had started, but not that much developed. So, people were thinking of the as analog and digital operation using these fluidic devices. Analogous to electrical and electronic circuits, fluid power circuits can be constructed to provide logic control of the scenes, systems. Now, what is logic control that will come later? The word logic used in the technological context means predictions and decision taking ability. The prediction and decision takings we call logic, but it really means we are predicting something and on that basis we are taking some decisions only then we should call it is logic. In many engineering situations the problem boils down to designing a system that will give an output only when certain preconditions are fulfilled. 
and the system must be capable of discerning whether those conditions have been fulfilled or not and then pass a signal to actuate or not actuate itself as the case may be. So, it is like that it will ask it will ask a question single questions that to do or not to do and we will do these operations. Many uh, operations you will find that you can discretize such operation into just on and off on and off. If you go to go through few on and off you will arrive into the same result. For an example in a machine shop for press operation it may be necessary to ensure that the component is in position that the safety guard is down and that both the start buttons one for each hand are pressed the press will not operate if these conditions remain unfulfilled that means let us consider a paper cutting machine shearing machines or sheet metal shearing machine in that case what normally you will do you will put the paper in the positions but while you are putting the paper in positions your both hand might be on the paper and it might be just under the cutter so if it operates then <laughs> there will be an accident so for the safety purpose what is done first of all you are putting the job in positions then there is no operations then you are putting a safeguard in front of that there is a double safety this is you are taking out your hand from there and putting the guard okay at that condition you can operate the switch again for the further safety there is not one switch there are two switch and this two side if you operate one it will not operate if you operate this separately it will not operate you have to put the switch on both switch by two hands then you are sure that your hands are not under the cutter and surely you are not going to put your leg there. <laughs> so, so these operations can be done easily by electronic devices now, but that earlier stage fluidic devices was being used for such sequential operations. You can one can do some mechanical say unless you do not uh, put this guard uh, on that means you do not put the guard you cannot operate that switch even if one switch you cannot operate but to the in, to be in safe side better operated by two switches ok. The sequences can be operated and controlled by two valued logic device this is look at this term two valued logic device two valued means yes or no. But what is logic and how it is used in engineering let us examine that is an action right or wrong a motive good or bad a conclusion true or false much of our thinking and logic logic in involves trying to find the answers to two valid question like this yes or no if if, if you you can think in this way you are trying to do something then you first first step is yes or no then you have forwarded with yes or no answer then another yes or no in that way you can find the logic. In fact, the those who are strongly believing in this logical sequences they always say that each and every action each and every thing can be explained by simply no yes or no yes or no by this any you can arrive into a decision 
for whatever may be the matter just simply answering that yes or no yes or no say for example you have to go to market and it is raining then first answer what is that is in is it essential to go to market now come yes or no say say it is yes then if yes then how to go it will come the next questions shall i take an umbrella or some raincoat say suppose you were thinking of umbrella okay yes i would take an umbrella the next question how will you go i will take the scooter then you will find if the scooter with umbrella this is not a combination so one will be eliminated you and then th think of okay no this path is not possible then next part take a rain coat in that way gradually you will find that with this answer you take the decision but in normal cases you will find this morning it is raining you have to you may try to go <laughs> not to go to the market if you had to go then what you will do you will take your raincoat and you will take your car and or whatever it may be you will go simply maybe car and umbrella car will keep here and with the umbrella you will go but that decision you take within a few seconds but in fact the all such logics works and with the yes and no answer you arrive there man so that is called two valued questions the binary or two valued nature of logic and a major influence on uh, ha had a had a ma major influence on aristotle it is said that aristotle first um, talked about this logic who worked out precise methods for getting to the truth given a set of true assumptions he was a philosopher aristotle you must know he was a philosopher he wanted to always arrive a truth behind anything and then he was thinking of how we can arrived into that truth he gave the idea of logical thinking logic next attracted mathematicians then mathematicians who are doing mathematics they thought that in many cases if they think in this binary way probably they will arrived into they can do some mathematical operations to arrive into an answer who intuitively sensed some kind of algebraic process running through all thought any thinking process also there must have some algebraic process the boolean algebra is the algebra of logic and it was originally an abstract mathematical form okay we will come to that boolean algebra now uh, boolean uh, after the name of george bool who invented this algebra he published a paper mathematical analysis of logic in 1847 this mean, this means that from now it is more than 160 years 165 precisely 165 years from now the george bool he first uh, showed some mathematical analysis of lo logic now his friend de morgan who helped him okay you can make the theory in this way and he also helped in connecting between logic and mathematics connection between logic and mathematics but ultimately bully he summed up all such things suggested by de morgan and he developed the this algebra that is why it is named after boolean algebra but in that algebra you will find the he honored morgan and there are few de morgan 
the uh, laws theorems de morgan which are very essential for this um, mathematical computations in fact when bully invented this uh, logic that time no computer nothing was there later in computer as you know we all follow this binary algebra and that is based on boolean algebra now that replaced aristotle's uh, methods aristotle proposed some methods but boolean algebra found to be much easier than aristotle methods and then on onwards the boolean algebra was being used however you will find that this boolean algebra who found a new way of thinking a new way to reason things out was not used for several years i am coming to that but he decided he to use symbols instead of words to reach logical conclusions so he invented also some symbols for the presentations of uh, logic now george bully saw a pattern in the way we think that allowed him to invent symbolic logic a method of reasoning based on the manipulation of letters and symbols letters and symbols okay in many ways symbolic logic resembles ordinary algebra if you go into this boolean algebra you will find as if at some places it is ordinary algebra but in other places you will find it is not matching with ordinary algebra now although originally intended for solving logic problems boolean algebra now finds its greatest use in the design of digital computers that which i have mentioned by a coincidence the rules of symbolic logic apply to the electronic circuits is in computers and other digital systems bully proved binary or two valued logic is valid for letters and symbols instead of words the advantages of boolean algebra are simplicity speed and accuracy you will find that they are using 0 and 1 0 and 1 with this you will find that in many cases particularly connecting through the electronic devices it is very easy to arrive into a result rather than solving it mathematically however the boolean algebra did not have any impact on digital electronics until almost 1938 look at this when he published a paper that was 1847 so 1938 almost 100 years it has no applications much applications people are thinking this is not abundant but still they do not found that this algebra can be used in some engineering application but sanon who was an electrical engineer he first thing thought of applying this algebra in telephone switching circuits telephone switch by the time 1938 the telephone has come then for switching circuits he was thinking that he can use this boolean algebra because a switch is a binary device on or off sanon was able to analyze and design complicated switching circuits using boolean boolean algebra so he was the first engineer who applied this boolean algebra in greater way and then it was followed for computers and many other applications to express the logical sequence in building the logic circuits various symbols are used in basic form they are same for any field 
or technology such as electronics, electrical or fluid power. However, when the circuit is shown using the symbol of actual devices, it will be different based on the field. Just I you have to identify say for example, the similar symbols are used, but you will find that for electronics or electrical circuits, there are a separate set of symbols than the fluid power symbols, but circuits may look more or less alike. Logic is uh, oh, logic will work in the same way, but while you are thinking of the fluid power device or electronic device, the symbols will be different. Nevertheless, the logic circuit may also be different for the same sequence of operation as making a logic operation in a field, one has to use more than one device, whereas it is possible with single device for another field. This is again say some of the devices was developed say in electronics that cannot be developed in fluid power. For fluid power the same operation you will find they have used some other devices or maybe two in number together to have the same operations which is achieved by a single device in electronics. In case of fluid power it may be common and ordinary devices of fluid power. Say fluidic devices is not the fluid power component, whereas using two fluid power com component you can develop a logic element that you should remember, which are used for both drive and control or fluidic devices. Then we call this is a fluidic devices that means you take two ordinary valve or ordinary fluid power components and combine together have a function which is functioning like a fluidic device. Then together you can call it is a fluidic device, but ordinarily the moving the fluid power having moving components those are not fluidic device. It is proper to start with a few definitions to understand the text that we will follow okay, to understand this what are this fluid logic. Now, definition definitions in definition first of all we will learn about the gate. There is a term which is used in logic gate. What is gate? Gate is a logic circuit with one output and one or more inputs. Now, remember gate is not a device, gate basically is a circuit which comprises of one output and one or more inputs. An output signal occurs only for certain combination of input signals. Okay. Now, another uh, term is used in logic circuits the truth table. Now, while you are thinking of some operations, you will think of a circuit. Now, to make these circuits, you have to go through some truth tables. That means, there where it is written, if this is 1, this is 0, then what will be the output. Hmm. Sometimes called a table of combinations, as I have told you, is a list or table that shows all input output possibilities for a logic circuits. The number of horizontal rows in a truth table equals 2 raised to the power n, where n is the number of inputs. Suppose there are n number of inputs, in that case in that table there will be 2 to the power n is the number of rows. Let us consider there are 4 inputs. So, 2 to the power 4 means 16, you have to at least 16 row truth table you have to make, we will show you that those truth table. For a 2 input gate for example, the truth table has 4 rows, 
a 3 input gate will have a truth table with 8 rows. In ordinary algebra when we solve an equation for its roots, we may get a real number positive, negative, fractional and so forth. In other words, the set of numbers in ordinary algebra is infinite. In Boolean al algebra, when we solve an equation, we get either 0 or 1. It is always so no means 0, yes means 1. But always you should remember, you should not be confused with, there is no signals, it might be 0 or might be it is not operating. So, um, a care must be taken to find out real 0 or no function, it is not functioning. No other answer is possible because the set of numbers includes only the binary digits 0 and 1. Actually, as I have told that whether it is not functioning, there are some other signals that it is not functioning. Another starting difference about Boolean algebra is the meaning of plus sign. In ordinary algebra plus means 1 plus 1 means we just 2. In case of Boolean algebra 1 plus 1 is not 2, we will see that what it is. The plus sign symbolizes here the action of an OR gate. This OR gate may be thought of as a device that has two inputs say A and B and an output say Y. Now, here as I have told that actually answer will come into 0 or 1, but input name we have given A B and output name we have given Y and then we will put its value. Moreover, when over A or B or both of them are in the state of 1, the output value of y becomes 1. If these input combinations are not present, the output y becomes 0. We will see that in the table. Symbolically, it is written as y is equal to a plus b and is read as y equals a or b. So, here the plus sign does not stand for ordinary addition, it stands for or addition. We call this plus sign in Boolean algebra is or additions. Now, these rules can best be understood following its truth table. We have made to understand these equations, we have made a truth table. Y is output, so we have kept it in right hand side, A and uh, the inputs in the left hand side. Now, let us consider A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, then it is 0. Now, this is all additions a is equal to 0 plus b is equal to 1, then output is 1. This means that in OR addition, if one of that is on, then this will be on, output will be some output will be there. This means that this is not quantity, this is not quantitative, only thing there is some signal at input, so output must have that signal. 1 plus 0 is also 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1, that means if both are giving signals then there is output, any of them is giving signals is output, none of them giving signals is no output. So, this is only this you can think in terms of or. Okay. 
but this quantity actual quantity say quantity of flow quantity of um, maybe in case of that is inputs or power anything that quantity is different this is only thinking of the possibility of on and off. Similarly, the multiplication sign that is cross has a new meaning in Boolean algebra. This is not an ordinary product when it is written y is equal to a into b sometimes it is written a dot b or even we write a b then it is it means that it is and device two inputs a and b both must be equal to 1 to get an output y is equal to 1. If any of them remains 0 the output becomes 0. Say this again with a truth table say a dot b is equal to y. Now, one a, a is 1 that means signal is there, but b is no signal so output there is no output. A is no signal, b is a signal still it is no output only there will be output if both are giving signals then there will be output signals, but none of them are giving signals is 0 whereas, one of them giving signal is 0. So, these two are ok, but when these two are 0 there is no signals there is also a dangerous because it might be whole system is not working. Hmm. So, there should have some precautionary measure for that, but here as you see this when both are on in that case this is 1. In case of or also if both are 1 then this is 1. So, you will find that this there is a some similarity in and and or for some operations, but if you come to say these operations in case of or the output will be 1, whereas in case of and this output is 0. This means that depending on the requirement we will think of such device either and or we are going to use or. Even though the cross or dot sign does not mean multiplication in the ordinary sense, the result of and multiplications are the same as ordinary multiplications. If you look into this, these are like an ordinary multiplications. So, there is a similarity with the ordinary algebra. Another operation of Boolean algebra is the not operations, not this not implies inversion and it is written as a bar is equal to not a. This means that this device if we this in this gate if we put a device. So, if you put a signal that will after the device that will become into no signal. So, that operation is required say one signal is coming we have to put into no signal. So, that combining with other signals we can we can arrive into a desired signal. So, this not a is also a device thus if the variable a is equal to 1 of a particular instant of time a bar is equal to 0 and vice versa in a particular instant of time a bar is equal to 0 and vice versa that is if a bar is equal to 0 sorry this if a is equal to 0 then a bar will be 1.
if a is equal to 0 then a bar is equal to 1 not a bar here. The following rule can be can be easily checked by truth table 3 that is a plus a bar is equal to 1 how say which follows from the identity that a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a and we can have from this truth table what it is a plus a bar is equal to y then this plus means or. So, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 that means a plus a bar a or a bar this combination always will give a positive signal. If y is equal to a plus a bar then a plus a bar is always 1. Several basic rules and theorems of Boolean algebra as follows. It is presented in the tabular form. So, this is the description or and and. Now, there are identities that means, if you combine with a or that is uh, or addition then a plus 0 is equal to a and a dot 1 is equal to a we to arrived into a we can use a plus 0 or a dot 1 is equal to a. So, these are called identities. Now, I would say it is very difficult to just remember all these things looking into uh, just one time. If you want to be expert in an Boolean algebra, you have to remember these things because only with such uh, identities and other combination which I will show, you can simplify this Boolean algebra. We will come to that. Next, the identity laws. This is simply called identities. Then next come identities laws. A plus A is equal to A and A dot A is equal to A. Say this, these combinations is called identities, whereas these combinations is called identities laws. Now, coming to the third one the commutative laws a plus b can also can be achieved by b plus a okay. and a dot b also can be achieved by b dot a. Fourth one the associative laws in that case a plus b plus c that, that this means this is or addition of a and b then this is one output that output is a input and that is further being combined with an or will give you a and then b plus c. And in case of and function a b into c is a into b into c. Now, the distributive laws are a into b plus c is equal to a b plus a c, you will have same output with such combinations. Also, you will have the same output with such combinations. This is I, I do not know, maybe you can <laughs> make you can remember these things. Apparently, it is a difficult, but if you can remember this while you are simplifying it will become easy. The second relation underline is not valid in ordinary algebra this you will find they are following ordinary algebra, but this is not following ordinary algebra. However, it can easily be shown by truth table in next slide. 
that it is valid for Boolean algebra. Now, in, a, in, in this table, in this truth table, what we have considered, there are three variables A, B, C, we have taken three variables. Then first we have made this OR additions and then we have made these combinations and then B, C and A plus B, C, we are trying to prove this one. Now, let us consider that this is we have taken 1, this is 1 and this is also 1. So, definitely a plus b will be 1, a plus c will be 1, a plus b 1 into 1 is equal to 1, b dot c will be also 1 and this is 1. So, hence this you will find this is proved. Now, if you take a b both 1, but c is equal to 0. In that case, a plus b is equal to 1, a plus c is equal to 1, this is 1, but b dot c will be 0, whereas a plus b c will be 1, because a is equal to 1. Okay. Now, still you can find this okay. with a is equal to 1, c is equal to 1, b is equal to 0. So, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0 and this is 1. Now, how many rows will be there? Again, there are 3. So, 3 to the power 2, is not it? Or 2 to the power 3. So, there will be 8 rows. Let us see how many rows are there. <laughs> so, now, then we find 1, 0, 0 this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 0, this is 1. Again, it, it, it can be proved. 0, 1, 1, this will be 1, this will be 1, this will be 1, this all are 1. Mm. And 0, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 and lastly, if 3 of them 0, all will become 0. So, this will be also proved, but uh, this is a dangerous one. So, in that way, if you consider any such theory or mathematical expression Boolean algebra, then you can uh, prove it by using the truth table. Also, this can be you can simplify this, but then you have to apply some laws which you should remember, but it might not be difficult because if you put one value then you go for the simplification by algebraic method also you will arrive into this, but truth table is very easy one other laws are as follows that a plus a b is equal to a. So, that you can prove also in a truth table say if this is 1 then say this is 0 then 1 0 is equal to a say this is 0 and this is 1, then this is 0, say a is equal to 0. So, this is 1, that means 0 plus 0 must be equal to a in 0. So, in that way you can prove this hmm, making the truth table. Now, now, this already we have shown this is always true a plus a bar is equal to 1 and a into a bar a dot a bar is always 0, hmm? is not it, because one of them is 0, other will be 1. So, 0 into 1 is always will be 0. So, which I have shown in 8. Now, this is again true a something into 0 is always 0, it is like an ordinary algebra. Then 10 a plus 1 is equal to 1. 
Now, here as you see this suddenly we have used all this letter symbol and why it this is numerical. This means that is one positive and another is whatever may be this is unknown. We have written in the form of a letter that this might be 0 might be 1 whereas, when we are indicating 1 or 0 that means 0 means 0 1 is 1 right. So, the equations are written in this form. Now, an important theorem this is proposed by Morgans, but this algebraic form it is not known who developed this may be Boolean or together. As you see this far first or operations here and then not of this or operations is equal to not of a dot not of b and not of c or inverse of this. Similarly, these equations also. Now, these two we will prove by using a table last two theorems state that the inverse of a function can be obtained by inverting all the variables and then changing the and to or and the or to and. So, this you can see these combinations this is quite interesting if you look into this this is a plus b plus c then inverse of that a inverse dot b or inverse dot c dot. Now, simply we have bought this side then automatically say as if you are bringing this one and then joining this three but together and bringing this this right hand side and just you making this three discrete, but this will be true. we will verify in the next slides. <coughs> now, again in this truth table we are trying to prove this true. So, definitely there will be also 8 rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but we have to make the column depending on that for each element then for each combinations. So, what we have done we have made a b c these three columns then one column for a plus b plus c one column for inverse of that then one column for a inverse another b inverse another c inverse or c naught you can say then a bar dot b bar dot c bar dot etcetera etcetera. So, all possible um, that what we would like to get in the form of equations that we have made the column. So, column number may be anything, hmm, but rows number will be 2 to the power n. Now, again in first column we have taken 1 plus which sorry a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 and you just look that for our combination this will be 1 and inverse of that will be definitely 0 not of that will be 0 and as these are 1 each 1. So, these will be all 0 0 um, mm, mm, sorry c bar will be 0 also. So, there is a mistake So, a dot b dot c dot any of them will be 0. So, even if for this also it is 0, but this will be 0. a dot b dot c dot will this would be again 1, maybe this is a a dot b dot c dot is equal to. Uh, 0 this will be 1 and this will be 1, but a dot b dot plus c dot mm. may be this sorry 
may be this combination is something wrong. Let us see this next table 1 1 0 a plus b plus c is equal to 1 right this obviously a plus b plus this is inverse into 0 this is equal to 0 whereas this will be one. I think this tables are just exchange <laughs> ok then a b c is equal to 1 and uh, this is obviously 0 this is ok I think this this two rows are exchanged ok. So, we will come to the next one 1 0 1. So, this is 1 and this is 0 right a bar is equal to 0 this is equal to 1 uh, maybe so I, I will give you the correct uh, table possibly that while I were I was just uh, copying from the actual table to this slide form these are the mistakes we have made. Anyway you please uh, develop this uh, table of your own and you will find that this can be proved. Let us see this one. 1 this is correct this is correct a is equal to 0 1 0 no this is not correct again a b c is equal to 0. So, 0 1 1 1 0 that is correct this is correct this is correct but this is not correct anyway this table is wrong what I find. So, uh, but uh, it, it can be proved using this theorem may be this this and these are interchanged somewhere. Although these are written, but these combinations are not correctly written. Okay, this is the end of that uh, column 5 and 9 we will find 5 and 9 and uh, 11, or two, 11 and 12 these are putting uh, proving these two equations one is this one combination of 5 and 9 and other is 11 and 9 although here it is correctly written, but perhaps these are not in proper form ok. I will give you the correct uh, table while I, I will send you the note. Now, um, what we have learned so far on the, the fluid logics one may still wonder as to how this knowledge that has been far described is going to help one in dealing with logic or logic circuits for automations. This query can perhaps best be answered at once by, by saying that even this little bit of knowledge about Boolean algebra enables one to simplify a large Boolean algebraic expression into a much smallest form which means that an elaborate binary switching circuit can be transformed to its absolute minimal functional equivalent from and form and thus saving a lot of complications and cost. This means that why such combinations are shown that what we will find to arrive into a solution will find that many intermediate steps can be omitted because they are combination of few inputs which is giving the output and that can be achieved by much simpler input. So, in many operations in computer you will find that many intermediate steps are eliminated following this Boolean algebra simplifications and circuit becomes 
very simple and the operations become much much faster. Now, we have uh, followed these books you will find there, but that is much elaborate form here I have presented in very concise form. Okay, thank you.